If you're looking to create an Avada custom header, then you really have two different options. And I'm going to show you both real quick so you kind of get a sense of what's going to be the best path for you. Uh, but the header is just this top section of your website. And if your website's built on WordPress using Avada, then you can log into your site, come over to Avada, click Global Options. I'm just going to open it in a new tab here. And you can also find it from the back end under Avada Options. And then you can click Header. And this is going to give you some different functionality. So you can choose what different layout. So you could have the logo in the middle with the menu on the bottom. You can have the logo, logo in the middle with menu items on the left and right. And you can change what contact info you want to display. You can even have a header background image, change the styling, and even set up a sticky header. So that's going to give you typically a decent amount of flexibility with the header section of your website. You can make it look quite a few different ways just with those settings. So click through, play around with those, um, especially these right here. They make the header look pretty substantially different with each one. But if you want to have a fully customizable or fully customized uh, header for your Avada website, then what you want to do is come over here to Layouts and click Layout Builder. You can also get to it from here under Layouts. And there will be this global layout option here. And you, you see where it says Select Header. So basically what this is going to do is you're going to be able to build out a header and it's going to show globally across your website, meaning on every single page and post and product. And anytime somebody loads a page or anything on your website, they'll see this these global settings here. So if you click select header, we'll just type something like um, main header area you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter it's just for internal use only here and then if you click this little pen tool then you can actually edit this section here and you you, you want to use the Avada builder most likely so if you click that uh, then you can click add container and we'll just do this full width container here meaning it's going to be the the full width of the website and then when you click Elements, um, we should see like Menu. So this is going to be the actual menu bar. But we don't necessarily want to have that be the full width here. So we'll actually probably want to make this more like uh, 3 fourths. And then we can add another block here. So I just went to columns and clicked this full column. And then we can make this one third. Oh, excuse me, one fourth. And then uh, we'll add an image. And then under image, if you click this, there's this little stack of circles here. If you click that, you can dynamically select content. So we can do the site logo. And then it'll, you know, you can select the different types, whether it's sticky or what have you. So then we've got our, we've got our logo there. We've got the menu here, which is we're basically just kind of rebuilding what we have here. So the logo, the menu, and then we got this top bar across the top here. So if we added Uh, another container and put this up top then we can add excuse me two half columns and then say we want our phone number in one of these here throw that in there and then we want the get a get a quote button up here and we'll made it a list which we don't want now we'll justify this to the right since that's how it's set up and then we're going to set the background color which 
we'll have to grab here real quick. And I'm just going to do this so you can see what this looks like. So I just went to background, put this color here, and I guess we're going to need to have these be white or else we're not going to be able to see them. So I'm just highlighting this, clicking the text color, selecting white, and okay, so we got that set. I'm going to click update here, and we'll see what this looks like. It's probably going to need some adjustment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we need to adjust some things, but you can see we just built, we just basically rebuilt this whole header section, uh, but we did it in such a way that now we can add in different elements. So, um, say we want to have this be actually a button. So let's go. make this a button so we'll grab this link put get a free quote now and we'll justify this over to the right so if we update that then we should be able to see that button appear in the top right hand corner now so what this does is it allows us yeah, it just needs some some styling here. So, like, we could add some top padding here. Actually, it probably needs to be like 20 pixels. Whoop, not 200. But we can start spacing things out correctly. We could increase the font size for this phone number to make it stand out more. We can set the logo to be a little bit smaller. But now you can see we've got this free quote button up here. We've got the phone number. We could add some text next to the phone number. It really just gives you 100% flexibility over how you want things to show up. Um, we need to add some spacing here. So let's do 20 pixels. And so you'll have different... You can see there's you can op, uh, you can change the styling of the menu on like the sub menu, the mobile menu, general, main menu. There's all sorts of different stuff you can edit in here. So now it should space out these items so that they're not okay. That looks better. And then we should be able to set them off to. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll get too deep into this. Um, but essentially, this allows you to build out a completely custom header and add in whatever elements you want to add in, rather than just being stuck with the basic options that we were looking at for the header they're essentially built in so this whole custom header well now it's not going to let us uh, use these header options because we built a custom header uh, but for more flexibility you can essentially build out how you want your header to be how you want it to show up you can even set it so that there's say you just want a custom header on product pages You can create a new layout, and then you can select, you can basically create another uh, header section here, and then when you click this gear icon, you can choose what pages you want it. So say we would just want it to be on all the posts, so we can click this. Now that custom header is going to show up on all the posts on our website. So you can see here there's a little green icon and it says all posts. So that gives you even more flexibility to where you can have a different header on different pages 
or even posts or products or whatever on your website. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, go ahead and take some time to mess around with it. If there's anything you run into or you've got questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.